Hello, little dudes. Get out of the way. Coming through. My pockets are full of cash. All right, this is it. This is the big one. 25000 is going to leave us with only $200 in our pocket. Don't tell Leah. <laughs> Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to Stardew Valley with yours truly, Pablo Punchwood. Level 21 planter. Level 21 planter? Oh, level up. <laughs> That's worth another a ding, a ring and a ding, and ding-a-dong. Great. Fantastic. I didn't even notice when that happened. I guess maybe it happened in the last episode. We got upgraded. Awesome. Anyway, tomorrow's going to be beautiful and sunny. And today looks like it's going to be sunny too. And spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck today, Punchwood. But we don't need luck with our girl in the kitchen. It's summer. That means the house is full of flies. Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I'll close the door. I'll close the window. What do you want me to do? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just like a guy, I gotta try to solve everybody's problems, but all they really want is to, for us to listen. There we go, okay, thanks for the huggy. Huggy wuggy, let's, uh, what are we gonna do today? Holy smokes, it's been a while since I've played. All right, bye, Leah, we'll see you later. Yeah, it's been like two weeks or something like that. Uh, well, we don't have to water the crops, that much I know. It is the Tuesday, the second of summer. We planted all the new seeds, and they are getting watered automatically with our super duper sprinklers, so we can put the water away. Although, we might as well go water the dog. But let me just chuck the basic fertilizer in there. We got some clay here, too. Apparently, we did not miss clay. And let's go, yeah, let's go give the doggy a little pat on the head. Hi, Wilson, good morning. And we're gonna give him some water. There you go, buddy. All right, so um, we have a bunch of geodes here we need to get processed. Oh, the dwarf scroll. Right, that's what we found in the last episode down in the mines. We have all of the dwarf scrolls. So now we can speak to the dwarf in the mines. That's what we'll do today. We'll go talk to the dwarf. Uh, but first we gotta bring that to Gunther in the museum and get it identified, right? And then we can drop off these geodes and get those processed by our good pal. Uh, Clint. All right. Oop, the jelly just popped up. Excuse me, little butterfly. Let's let all the fowl out. Come on out here, you fowl. Fowl chicken, you. <laughs> Dally. Oh, we got to go in anyway and get the eggs. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Blues, whites, browns. Hi, Jazz. Jazz, you're looking fine today. And you know what? Hey, duck. Where's that duck? Where's quack? Quack. Yes, talking to you. Where the heck is the feather? Give us a feather. You're a duck. You're supposed to drop duck feathers. All right, did we say hi to everybody? There we go, I think we got them all. Grab some hay, and we'll drop that off. You guys can go outside, it's summer. Go outside and play. What's wrong with you people? Sheesh. All right, here they come. And, oh, we got a new, um, we got a new goat. Come on out here, goat. Get, get out of here, goat. Get out of here, Fr Franny. Go, go play, go eat. Urgh. All right, never mind, stay right there. Stay right there, don't go anywhere. I need something from you. All right, um, so now, oh, there's a, there's a goat. That's a big goat. That's Munch. All right, I guess we're going in. We had a little baby goat hatch. <laughs> hatch. <laughs> Hi, Crunch. Crunch is still a little clumsy from being born. She's curious about her new world. It's a little girl, one-month-old baby Crunch. And her mommy is Munch. Aw, she's so cute. That's great. I didn't even know Munch was pregnant. Didn't we establish that in the last episode? We just all of a sudden got got a little crunch. And I didn't even know that the mom was uh, was carrying. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to take some milk right out of your nose if you don't mind. So crunch there is not going to give us any goat milk yet. But we can get some goat milk from the mama. And turn it all into the cheese. So what can we do today that's special after we go and do all the other stuff. I'm thinking we have 25,000 buckarooskies, so how about if we um, get that bus repaired? We can donate 25,000. I mean, it's a lot of money, I know. I agree. Oh, we have an extra egg. Ooh, we need to make another uh, mayonnaise machine because we have an extra egg here. It's an animal product. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that soon, too. But, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing that today is um, getting that bus repaired, and then we can get to the desert, right? Isn't that where the bus brings you? To the desert, and that's going to open up a whole new area and a whole lot of new fun stuff going on there. Yes, I think that is a perfect plan 
for the day. Let's just put the bucket away here, and I just need to get organized again. And we're going to sell all this stuff because we need to make some money back. If we're going to donate 25k, then... Well, let's not sell the pine tar or the egg. I'm going to go put those in the house where we have all the rest of it. Leah's still in the kitchen. Leah, you can, why don't you go outside? It's a beautiful day. Go work on your... Uh, your painting, your outside painting. I think she has an outside painting. <laughs> She's got some kind of carving or something out there. She spends a lot of time in the house. I'm a little worried about her. Gotta get her outside. All right, everything's good here. We just have to wait for everything to grow, especially them melons. Once them melons grow, we can do the quality crops thing too. And then um, that'll open up, yeah, the pantry right here, and that'll get open up the greenhouse. So yeah, we're right on the verge of a lot of new discoveries and evolution here in uh, Stardew Valley. What are you doing in the crops, you little brown chicken? I seize you. Get, hey! Do not eat those seeds. Oh, rascal. All right, let's go. Let's go to town. Let's go to town. There's a spice berry here. Let me go grab the spice berry. I probably have a thousand of these things already, but you never know. And that's the bus. We gotta repair it. And I think I saw some grapes. Lovely, lovely wild grapes. These are good. And a sweet pea. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of gifts to give away today. So yeah, we could go talk to the dwarf too. Right? Oh, let's take the train. Take the train. Take the train over to the uh, town. Which is over here by Clint. Go say hi to our friend Clint. Hello, Clint. How are you, buddy? We got some stuff for you here. Some geodes. Give us something new, would you? That's not new. It's Malachite. Seen it before. How about a frozen nose? Oh, that's good. Ten gold. All right. An Omni geode. Uh, basalt. All right, looks good, I guess. Not that we don't already have all that, but it was worth a try. Worth a shot. If you want me to upgrade your tools, you'll have to give me the correct door. Yes, I know. And you'll have to pay me a fee, of course. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> We've done all this before, Clint. Have a good day, buddy. All right, let's go make our donation over here. See Gunther at the museum. Hello, Gunny. We got something special for you today, my friend. You've never seen anything quite like it. Well, maybe you have. Three. Three times. Look at that. New reward. Holy smokes. We got all four. What do we get? What do we get? Hand it over here. I can't wait. Click my reward. Dwarvish translation guide. Teaches you dwarvish. Yes. Now we can talk to that dwarf. And it just went poof. Just like that. All right. Thanks, buddy. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out of here. Hi, kids. Hi, Penny. All right. Let's roll. Let us roll. Go back to the horsey. There you are, bud. Thanks for sticking around, pal. And now, I think we'll, um... Should we go try talking to the dwarf? Sure. I mean, what else are we gonna do? We're just waiting for crops to grow. <laughs> and we can stop and uh, make that donation. Uh, 25000 is a lot of cash. And we that's only gonna leave us with two hundred. <laughs> hey, Demetrius, what's going on, buddy? Any new science stuff happening? Make sure you water your plants every day. Oh, I do. I have automa automagical sprinklers. Sprinklers, you should come by and see them. <laughs> Although, if you're using water-retaining soil, you don't need to worry about watering as often. Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. I have automagical sprinklers. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. What? The soil? Oh, the... Uh, okay. Have a good day. He doesn't listen. He's very distracted. All he thinks about is science. It's always on his mind. I don't really think he listens very well. You're not a good listener, Demetrius. You should work on that. Your wife would appreciate it. Bye. All right, let's go. <laughs> Inside to make a big deposit. Hello, little dudes. Get out of the way. Coming through. My pockets are full of cash. All right, this is it. This is the big one. 25000 is going to leave us with only $200 in our pocket. Don't tell Leah. <laughs> there we go. What do we get? A crystallarium. Insert a gem of your choice and it will grow copies. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh. Oh, yeah. That is exciting. Everybody's excited. Look at this. It's a party. Don't spend it all in one place now. We're happy to help. It's not our house after all. Okay. Okay. They're freaking out. What's going on? Wow. Dude, it looks great. We get a whole office desk and everything. Can I sit? No. Oh, what did you just say to me? I don't speak that language. We need to learn uh, a little puffball guy language. <laughs> Whatever they are. Some kind of spirits. Puffball language. <laughs> oh, wait. Somebody's got something. 
What you got? Oh, he's throwing a star up at the board. Nice throw. Oh, that's a good one. All right, we've finished three things here. Three things. We And the pantry is coming soon. And the fish tank should be easy, too. Once we get to the desert, we can catch the sandfish. Oh, yeah, man, we are really going to be cooking. Year two is going to be our best year ever. Not even close to the bulletin board yet. But pantry, fish tank, and we just finished the vault. So, yeah, we're looking good. All right, you can go now. Oh, what are you doing? Ah, why are you following me? What? What's going on, kid? Huh? Get away, you bother me. <laughs> Wait a minute, do we have a new friend? Can I talk to him? You want to play? All right. What do we, how do we play? So now they trust us when we come in here. This guy plays with us. That's really cool. All right, bye, little puffball feller. We'll catch up to you later. I got some work to do. Does he come outside? No, he doesn't come outside. That's too bad. Because that would be epic. <laughs> Have a little pet follow us around. All right, it's not about the money. It's not about the pets. It's about community and rebuilding and all that fun stuff. Oh, hi, everybody. We got Abigail and Linus. How's it going, Linus? How have you been, my young friend? Oh, we've been fine. And yourself? I'm going to give him something. Let's give him a... Uh, you think you like a spice berry or sweet pea? Let's give him a sweet pea. We have so many. I think he appreciates anything, this guy. This is a great gift. Thank you. Yes, I know you do. I know you appreciate everything. That's why we like you. And I'm going to give a sweet pea to old, old little Abigail here. You're an interesting guy, Punchwood. I'm glad you moved here. Well, I'm glad you still like us. Because, you know, I thought we had a little thing going. But then I married Leah. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Uh, okay. Enjoy. <laughs> I forgot she eats flowers. Well, she's still happy about it. All right, see ya. Let's go check on that dwarfy. All right, bud, you stay here, okay? And watch the door. Now, I think the dwarf is over here to the right. Oh, there he is. Hi, dwarf. I I imagine you have a name. So, can you tell it to me now? Ah, cave carrot stew, cave carrot roast, cave carrot soup, and cave carrots all gratin. <laughs> That's a funny voice you have there. You sound a little bit like uh, a Pokemon. And a ramekin of cave carrot brewery to sweeten the night. Yeah, you don't say. Hey, what's your name anyway? What? I said, what's your name? Oh, he doesn't have a name, but he wants us to buy something. Wow, look at all the stuff. A life elixir, oil of garlic, cherry bomb, a regular bomb, a mega bomb. Holy smokes. I want a mega bomb. Miner's treat. Those are delicious. Rare crow. Oh, that's a new rare crow. Oh, it's, it's him. It's, it's him on the rare crow. I can't afford it. <laughs> we probably should have come here and gone shopping before we donated to the community center. A stone cairn. It's a decorative piece for your farm. Wow, if we buy this, we will have we'll be broke. Let's do it. I want to be broke, just like day one. Zero monies. We're broke. That's all we can buy. Dwarf, whatever your name is. <laughs> What's in the box? Nothing. I want to give him something. What do you think he would like? Gold ore, probably ore, right? Um, I don't know, let's go find him something. I bet he likes a gemstone. Dwarves love gems. It's five o'clock though. Um, I do want to check the bus, but before we do that, let's just go down to I don't know. Level twenty sounds good. Up, oh, great. What do we get? A steel small sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not what I wanted. I just want like a little gem. Oh, there's bugs. Oh, bugs here and sap. Now right, let's take care of these little bugs. Get out of here. We do need the buggy meat anyway, and the, the um, spirits are feeling pretty good today, right? Where's all the gemstones? Aha! Crystal! Let's go give the dwarf a crystal. I bet he likes crystal. They like anything shiny or minerally or whatever, right? So, oh, hold on. Let's check this out. Oh, geode? Yeah, I wasn't really planning on doing this, but while we're here. Sap, really? Alright, let's go give the dwarf the crystal. Yes, leave the mine, and we're going to give the dwarf a gift. Hey, buddy, look what we got down in the mines. So he does take gifts. Ah, this reminds me of home. Does it? I'm glad you like it. All right, let's check to see our hearts with the dwarf. Probably at the very bottom, right? Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Still zero, but you can only give him one gift or two gifts a week, right? Won't take another one. Yeah. All right, well, we'll come back. I wonder if uh, 
if the hearts has an effect on the on his pricing. That would be awesome. All right, let's go. Bud's gonna stay here. We're gonna take the train right to the bus and check on the bus. Okay. Well, it's my bus. I bought it, basically. So can we get in now? Wait, we did repair the bus, right? Wait a second. What happens now? How do I operate the bus? The bus to Calico Desert is out of service. What? I paid all that money to get it fixed. 25k. Where'd that money end up? That's not right. Huh. Well, we're going to run through the tunnel here and see if we can get to the desert without the bus. No, we can't. Well, this is a real head scratcher. Maybe there was something else I had to do at the community center? Oh, wait a minute. I do not have a bus driver's license. I'm not certified. Right, I think Pam is the bus driver, isn't she? So we have to wait for Pam to come to work. And she's probably not gonna come now, it's too late. So I wonder if the bus will be opened up tomorrow. That's probably what's going on here. Well, while we're here, let's go check the calendar. Oh, a quest. It's from Sam. Need a frozen tier for a project I'm working on. Okay, we can accept that. I think we have some frozen tiers. Now let's just check that calendar. Stop chopping it. Jazz's birthday in a couple of days. Okay. Don't let me forget that. Let's go through some trash. Um, let's go see if Pam's around. I don't think we can get into Pam's house and give her the good news. I'm sure it's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Dang it. All right. Oh, you wait. She might be at the bar. Let's go see if she's at the Stardew Saloon. She hangs out here a lot. Pam! There she is! Hey, Pam, guess what? We got the bus repaired. Hey, Gus, give me another round. <laughs> Pam, did you hear me? I said we repaired the bus. Cost me 25 Actually, cost me a lot more than 25 k So, <clears throat> I'd like a ride to the desert whenever you're done. Actually, don't! Don't! No! She's been drinking all night. <laughs> Bring me tomorrow, though, okay? Hey, Gus, give me another round. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow's better. I think tomorrow's a better day. Here, have a flower. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. Yeah, anytime. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you know what? We don't want her driving tonight. Anyway, so let's go give... Uh, let's go give our friend over here a spice berry. I think, I think you like spice berries. This is great. Thanks. I knew it. I knew it. How did I know? Life isn't so bad. At least I have frozen pizza and eggs. Oh, you can't go wrong with frozen pizza and eggs. All right. Uh, good night, everybody. Okay, I think we just have to wait till the morning. And then we can take the bus to the Calico Desert. There is one more thing to do. Since we have the Dwarven translation, pretty sure there is a headstone. Where is the um, is the cemetery? Okay, here is the cemetery. Right, so there's the headstone that is has some writing in Dwarvish. Oh, the Gushane is going home. This one's old and faded. Our beloved Mona. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one. You translate the Dwarvish. Stand between the pillars three with gift as precious as the sky. A rainbow forged from land, not sea. Then galaxies will heed your cry. And that, I'm pretty sure, is something that we do at the Calico Desert. Which we will get to tomorrow as soon as um, Pam goes to work. <laughs> uh, Alright, well let's... Um, I think I'm just going to run along on the beach here, grab a few things to sell since we're poor. We need every penny we can get. Oh, no, it's getting late. Okay, we're just going to sell a few clams. Yeah, um, we don't have a horse, so we're going to have to hoof it back on foot. And I don't want to I don't want to fall asleep on the ground, so we better get moving. Oh, gosh, it's going to be close, actually, guys. <laughs> going to be home by two, right? Is it two or one? I think it's two. Holy smokes. I think we can make it. Shh, the cows are all asleep. Uh, oh boy, it is, wait, it is, um, two o'clock, right? Not one o'clock. Oh gosh, okay, yeah, Ooh, I wasn't sure, I forgot. Where'd that stone come from? Oh boy, all right, close all the gates. Sorry, everybody. We're gonna grab the cheese, and we gotta go sell real quick, and then hop into bed real quick. Oh my gosh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. 
my preserve jars. We gotta get some stuff preserving. We'll just do it tomorrow because we sold a few things today. We'll, we'll get a few bucks. <laughs> I don't want to take the chance of missing missing my uh, my beauty sleep. Yes, let's go to bed for the night. Oh, there's the bus. It's getting repaired by the little the, the puffball guys, the uh, Juminos, right? Look at they're using magic. Okay, they had to fix it first. That makes sense. Anyway, here endeth day twoth of summerith, year twoth, and we made nine hundred and thirty dollars. Yay! We have some more money back in the bank. <laughs> That'll get us through at least one day. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you all enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.